Hey guys, your inner chakras. Welcome back to the channel, guys. If you are new, you are welcome. All right, guys, what is going on? What is going on? Where are we going with this? Spirit makes me think sometimes, like, what's going on? I don't know where I want to start. Start with romance angels, right? Holy Spirit, what do you have for the collective? This is the second serving of dessert on Thanksgiving. Holy Spirit, what do you have for the collective right now in regards to their relationship or even if they're looking for new love, right? What's going on? Holy Spirit. Religious factors. Your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. So someone who's kind of like on the same path you're on right now, uh, you're kind of in alignment. You're in alignment with someone religious or spiritually. Y'all like, you, you're on the same wavelength or you have an understanding, right? Children, your love life is being affected by children. So you may have children by someone else. But your spirituality may be that of someone else, different. Keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations, right? One more spirit. And then retreat. It's time to disconnect from the world. If this person comes in, whoever's in alignment with you spiritually, when you two do come together, whether you know this person or not, Spirit says you need to disconnect from the world and hang out with each other. It looks to me the only thing that's stopping you is children. Maybe you have children with someone else. But keep an open mind. This new person or an old person may be your soulmate. Holy Spirit, and you just have to have a, a sit-down conversation with your with your with your children. You're definitely healing. You're in a space of healing right now. You're not being fulfilled emotionally. Although you have children with the one that you're with, you're not fulfilled emotionally. You're not happy, right? With that person. There's been a lot of secrets in this connection as well. A lot of secrets came out. And it looks like you're giving up. Nine of Wands in reverse. Somebody's giving up, right? Somebody's thinking about giving up. Holy Spirit. Lovers. I think after you heal and after you go through your spiritual awakening and your spiritual journey and part of your healing process, because healing is forever, it may bring you in this new life here. A new love. And this is the one who's going to be in alignment with you spiritually or religiously. But I think the only thing that's stopping you and or your person is children. But spirit is saying there's victory in this. There could be victory. People could be motivating you to go forward. But you're not quite sure you haven't made the steps to go forward or maybe you're afraid to yeah eight of cups in reverse you could have a fear of change because you do have children so this could be something that you're second guessing about because of your children this new lover here may be someone who's been married divorced maybe it's a queen of pentacles in reverse or just never married. The towers in reverse. You've definitely been through some things. Um, with this person here. Where you're unhappy. Where there's children there. You're not happy there. And you're dropping your burdens. You could have found out some lies. Some secrets. Came out. So you're not happy. But you're still hesitating on walking away. You're actually actively healing. Holy Spirit, Four Swords. Yeah, you're not following your intuition. Although you're healing, you're not following your intuition. Then your intuition is telling you you're not happy in this connection. You're just not happy there. 
You're just not happy. You love your children, yes, but you're not happy with the person that you're with. Spirit clarify this Nine of Cups in reverse. Knight of Cups. It looks like you offered love to this person, but you're maybe not getting the love back in return. Holy Spirit, clarify these secrets. The moon in reverse. What came out? What truth did you find out, right? You found out something. Ten of Swords. They stabbed you in your back. It's a horrible ending. Whatever these truths were that you found out about, you're going to end up ending things and dropping your burdens. The Magician... You're going to drop your burden and you're going to start manifesting the life that you want, the love that you want um, with a new lover here. Holy Spirit, clarify this lover's card. That new lover there is going to bring you balance. That's going to bring you balance. And remember it says your soulmate may differ from your usual type of expectations. So this person may not even look like what you think you want. But spiritually, it's what you want. It's what you need, right? And there's victory in this. It could be somebody who's in the public eye. Holy Spirit. It's a King of Cups. It's a King of Cups. What is stopping you from going forward? Other than these children, right? Because you're hesitating. Because you have regrets. You regret. You have regrets. Maybe you'll regret if you walk away. But you're also going to regret if you don't walk away. You'll be sitting and giving to a connection that you're not happy in. It's already creating delays for yourself. You do feel like you chose wrong. You just made the wrong choice. Yep, it's a missed opportunity. You could have missed other opportunities because of this person. Spirit, clarify this uh, Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah, you're not putting in any more work with this person. So this is who you're leaving. Queen of Pentacles in reverse. You're not putting in any more work. You've been through the tower. Holy Spirit, wait a minute. Too many cards are flipped up, right? I don't want that. I don't like to see that. Holy Spirit, clarify the tower in reverse. Yeah, you're not following your intuition. I don't know if you keep going back or you keep giving second and third chances, but in reality, you're not happy there. And the only thing that's keeping you or keeping this person is their children. It looks like you're trying to drop the burdens. Yeah, King of Pentacles in reverse. King of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles. You're leaving one another. And the only thing that's holding you two together right now are children. Page of Wands. You're going to end up moving on. You're standing in your strength here. You're going to end up moving on. Alright guys. Let me set you off with a map card. Holy Spirit. One map for the collective to send them on their way. Spirit said take this one. So we have Storm, storm Fields in reverse. It looks like an upside down tornado. Right? But it's the storm fields in reverse. That is number nine. This too shall pass. Now is not the time to engage in any activity that brings unwanted chaos or drama into your life. This kind of storm can be destructive and you'll regret your actions later. Hurtful words will be carried on the wind and bring a tornado of betrayal, anger, and unnecessary angst. Find shelter. This turbulent weather will pass and your house will be untouched. Say no to drama. Wait till the storm blows over. Only then will you be heard. So there's a lot going on here with you and your person. You're arguing. You're fighting. You're in the middle of the storm. But spirit is telling you to go take shelter because you're not hearing each other over the storm. Um, it's unwanted chaos and unwanted drama that you don't want in your life anymore. It's hurtful words will be carried in the wind and bring a tornado of betrayal, anger, and unnecessary angst. Guys, this too shall pass. It's time for you to move on. I think the only thing that's keeping you are your children, or the only thing that's keeping them is their children. 
Alright guys, thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. Peace.